Welcome back, my lambs. It's Wednesday. You know what that means. Time to play some Hump Day Horror. We are back with Hollow Cocoon. We are loading this game right where we're ready. All right, let's jump right in. We are running away from the beast, from the monster. Diving in. Let's see how we can do it. Let's see if I remember the controls. Let's see if I remember anything about this game. From last time I played it. I remember this. They ripped off Silent Hill. Alright. F to flash the light. Uh, we called someone. I don't know if we need to call again. Hold on. Let's let's check our... Okay. It doesn't tell us anything. Uh, well. Oh, there we go. So we got a... Not get caught by the spooky. Don't go in there. I don't know where she at. But I'm going to go out the front door and hopefully someone will come save us. Yes, there we go. Okay. Not great. Is there another way out? I don't think so. So we gotta slowly walk around. With the creepy music playing. Peek around the corner, see if anyone's here. Oh, there's a phone book here. Hell yeah. This is an important one, please do not forget. Looks like a number was written here, it's been ripped out. Fate marks on the paper. Ah. Hell yeah. Five zero zero eight. Where's the phone? Okay. Oh, I understand. I now understand. We have to go to that door. I mean, I know it sucks walking in the darkness, but there's no way no way else. We are going to... What? Hey! I can't... Save points can repel evil spirits and repel enemies who get close. However, each time the talisman repels an enemy, it consumes magic. When the magic is depleted, the talisman color fades. It loses its effect. You can still save at faded talismans a uh, number of times. You can um, call an enemy depends on difficulty. Okay, well, let me uh, let me save at least. Okay. Well. Not in here, but wh where was that door? Is at the end of this hall? All the way at the end of this hall. This music's getting weirder. Hopefully she's not here. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alright. Nailed it.
Get through the door. What are you doing? Turn around, shut the door. Yep. Push. Damn, broke the door right off the hinges. Oh, I got some lights. Nice. Oh, I got some lore. Dear Mrs. Kinu Miyama, I'm writing this to inform you about the results of your examination at our clinic. Based on the diagnose, uh, diagnostic images obtained from the x-ray, we have identified an abnormal abnormality in your cranial in your head. You got a brain tumor. Okay. The symptoms have been, uh, you have been experiences such as your headaches and severe forgetfulness are likely related to this tumor. It is important to address this condition properly. Yeah, promptly. Yes, that, I agree. That sounds about right. The tumor requires a quick and immediate treatment. It is important to note that your memory may continue to deteriorate. The painkillers have been uh, you have been taking will only provide limited relief. I strongly advise that you discuss this matter with your family and make arrangements to visit your clinic as soon as possible. Thank you, Mr. Banzo Nagayuma. All right. Perfect. Ooh, press the wrong buttons. Love it. What do we got here? Dear Yui, thank you for your letter. Kino and I are doing fine. So, Minato has entered elementary school, eh? My. How time flies. It feels like just yesterday he was a baby. I can't help but think it, uh, maybe it's because I'm getting older. More than anything, how close you are to family warms my heart. Okay. Yui, when you're thirsty, remember what I told you. Try not to hold it. This burden is not your fault, after all. You feel guilty after keeping something hidden from... Aiji? But when you're afraid of telling him, but you're afraid of telling him also, Aijia is a kind man. Otherwise, I would have never given him my blessings. Whenever you're ready to tell him, I'm sure Aijia will accept for you who you are. For years, you've been worried about, uh, worried that Kino doesn't like you. Kino didn't attend your wedding and didn't care. Kino didn't attend your wedding and didn't care when she became a grandmother. But Kino is like this with everyone, including me. She never leaves the house under any circumstance. It may be difficult for you to understand, but Kino could never be a good mother. What? Could never be a good mother or grandmother. That's why I took you out of her house and moved you in, uh, moved us into town. Still feel guilty for giving you that feeling of emptiness, lacking a mother. What on earth is going on? Despite having one, I'm not asking you to forgive Kino for her behavior, but I want you to understand Kino has her own reasons. This, what? This is ridiculous. I was so happy when Aiji asked me to leave Kino and come live with you three. Brought a tear to my eye, thanks to him. I was able to return to the Miyama house where Kino is to clear this uh, to, with a clear conscience. Now, you have Aiji and Miyato. There's no need for me to be by your side. Uh, I've left Kino alone for a long time. She's a strong woman, but as she grows older, I want to give her my support. Remember this well. Yui. Yui. Yui, I guess? You're my pride and joy. Whenever you're in trouble or feel anxious, you can always rely on me whenever. Alright, that's crazy. That's all crazy talk. All that is crazy talk. Get some of this guy. I'm, I'm good. I'm good now. This. Ooh, 10 yen. Hell yeah. Ooh. Okay, that's the outside. Let's not go out there just yet. Can't go through this door. Okay, let's go out there just now. 
what do we got on the wall? Butterflies, nice. All right. That's a strange storage shed. Is that where we're going? Let's boy the outside first. All right. Bust on open. Got a little mustache to keep it shut. That's fun. It's a hell of a lock, though. It's like cement doors. Grandma's key. Let's go into Grandma's strange storage shed. Uh, a hanging scroll depicted a woman buried in a garden. What? All right. Oh, it is save point. Hell yeah. We'll absolutely save. Alright, it's time to use the 10 yen machine. We gotta beat this one. Uh, F to insert coin. Okay. Uh, hold on. So the, and we want to get the goal. I see. Failed. Okay. F it. Do this. Little bit more. Just a little bit. Nope. You got bopped. Okay. We have to. All right. We got lots of ten yen coins, so we're go we're gonna beat this, you know. But not when I do stuff like that. A little bit. A little bit more, a little bit less, a little bit more, a little bit more. Nailed it. A little bit. Just a little bit. Right. right there? No. Nope. What is going on? There. Okay. Oh. Okay, so it's like right here. Did I fail? It is. Okay. Uh clearly. Clearly the UFOs are beating me at my own game. UFO 10 yen coin game. Which I don't know why. I don't know why Grandma and Grandpa have so many 10 yen coin games. Oh, this is brutal. All right, well, we, we lost it. I'm not saving after that. No chance. What do we got here, though? Dear Kino Miyama, I hope this letter finds you well. It does not. This is a Jinba. It has been quite some time since the uh, untimely passing of my beloved wife, Yui. Today... I am reaching out to you with a few inquiries regarding my son, Miyato, who is now 18 years old. Miyato has started attending middle school. What? Started attending middle school. Hold on. 13 years old. There we go. That's, 
It looks a lot like an 18, but it is a 13. Or else the next paragraph does not make any sense. Mietua started middle school this year, and I wanted to share uh, something I've noticed with you since the summer. He has been getting, uh, he's been getting unusually thirsty and consumes a substantial amount of water. Initially, I thought it was the hot weather and didn't think much of it. However, as autumn passed and winter came, he's still constantly thirsty, prompting me to seek medical, advi medical advice. However, the doctors found nothing wrong with him other than his insane thirst. Thinking back, I recalled that Yui also had a tendency to drink a lot of water. Before her passing, I had discussed it with her. She mentioned that this was just something she inherited from her father. She assured me that there was no need to worry. I'm curious if you know if, uh, if, you know if your husband mentioned anything about his predisposition. If you have any knowledge regarding this matter, I would greatly appreciate your answer. I eagerly... Oh, Eagerly await your response. Uh -huh. That's right. Thirsty boy. So now there's an upstairs. Check. I, I think I'll crawl the space before I up the stairs. Let's give this a quick little save. Just give it a little save, you know. If I don't write it down, it never happened. We'll crouch over here. Ooh. Storage box? Nothing in the box. Okay, won't open. There's no keyhole, no lock in sight. Okay. We got Dark Souls. We got Dark Souls hole over there. Let's uh, take a look upstairs. See what we got in here. Okay, a hanging scroll depicting a woman and a hawk. Okay. Ten and coin, some hangers over there to hang some stuff. The legend of Princess Mayu. Once upon a time there lived a princess named Princess Mayu, adored with Beauty untold. Beneath the spring moon's glow, Princess Mayo's sister, consumed by MB's woe, oh my god, led her to a fearsome mountain where lions roamed free, leaving her stranded a perilous decree. Yet, to their surprise, Princess Mayo returned home, her spirit unbroken, and her body whole. As the summer moon shimmered above, Princess Mayo's sister, driven by Envy's love, guided her into a shadowy mountain steep where hawks flocked secrets to keep. But again, Princess Mayo defied her fate, returning unscathed through Destiny's Gate. With Autumn's moon shining bright, her system's patience reached its height. She set Princess Mayo adrift on a boat. To a distant sea, the princess was afloat. Yet, as the night embraced the land, Princess Mayo returned, defying her sister's hand. Under winter's moon, fear took hold. The sister's heart, now bitter and cold. She led Princess Mayo to a garden wide, digging a hole deep and dark inside. On that night, the princess did not appear. The sister worried through her conscience, though her conscience clear. Within the hole which she peered through lay a cocoon with a hole and tiny white worms askew. <laughs> Why? Yeah, no kidding. Oh, Jesus. Alright, hanging scroll to be a woman in a line. Okay. So, what do we got here? Hanging scroll to picking a woman on a boat. Should I remove the hanging scroll? Remove. Yes. Okay. Uh. Bird in the backyard. I think it's boat. Boat, lion. Wait. Did I mess that up? Lion. 
Lion Hawks. Oh, boat guard. Okay. Hold on. It's a nice little painting. Move. Oh, do nothing. Uh, remove. So, first things first, line. Hawk. Boat. Guard. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah, you can use this to save the game. Okay. Let's see if this is open now. Huh, maybe it's backwards. Oh yeah. Duh. Move. It is backwards. Different different part of the world. This one is the lion. Hawk. Boat. Garden. There you go. Hell yeah. All right, let's get through this little hole, shall we? Hello? Deeper down? Brutal. Oh, it's just 10 yet. In case we lost the game too many times. But who would have done that? Not me. Ooh, this sucks. In in all the right ways, this sucks. Let us open the door. Oh, that's kind of cool. He switches hands too. Little details like that just make the game feel that much better. All right, what do we got? Well, first of all, pick up the cash. We're gonna be rich after this. Plea from the dungeon. Lord Keube, please forgive me. I have seen nothing. I have told no one. My lips shall remain sealed. I promise to serve the Miyama family forever and ever. So please let me leave this place. I too am a human being. Please do not use my flesh as a meal for that creature. All right. Well, I feel you, bro. Ugh, that sounds awful. Do do is that blood stains? No, just old. Look at how busted up these stairs are. So much use. I don't know. Miyama Silkworm Records. The Miyama family's livelihood through the generations revolves around safeguarding the silkworms and selling their eggs. Miyama Silkworm spread, uh, threads possess a remarkable combination of luster and flexibility. The exceptionally beautiful silk produced by Miyama Silkworms earned the nickname Thread of the Heavens and enjoyed much prosperity. Legend has it that Miyama Silkworms originated from silkworm found sprouting from the body of Princess Mayu. Oh damn. These silkworms have been cherished and re uh, revered as family heirlooms. The female silkworm moths serve as the crest of the Miyama family. Well, 
There's no way this is a dead end, right? Ah, right here. Some wind blowing through here. Could this wall be? Fake? A jump scare? Knew it! Yeah, we're going through. Ready for spooky? Spooky now loading? Hot damn, we're in here. Wherever this is. Oh. What's this? Ah, the red talisman is a protective charm used by uh, using the religious religion from ancient times. Damn. It is made by dyeing paper with a crimson color believed to repel demons and drawing symbolic characters in black ink. The exact meaning of the symbol is unknown. It is speculated that it represents the sun deity. As sunlight is believed to purify their negative energies, according to the village legends, when a demon approaches the talisman, it immediately emits a radiant light, torturing the demon as it is exercised. Well, alright. Well, uh, now that we've read the lore, let's uh, slap on this nice little save. Was this past? Okay, so that came from the secret passage there, into here. Yeah. What do we got here? Picture of Ayano. Oh, read. Died. Oh. Right. Yep. Ayano. Ayano. Ayano gone. Am I a demon? Is that what that's telling me? Because it's emitting the red light? Getting the headaches? Who knows? Great question. Okay. What do we got in here? Family tree. Okay. Good day. Okay. Interesting. Peace out, bug monster. Do not come hang out. All right. Ignition tool used by hitting hammer and stone. Yeah. We got some flint. I have a map. Main house, floor one. This place is massive. How the hell did I get here? So through the storage shed, there's the entire... Oh my god. Alright. Yeah. So I can M the map. All right. Then at least they gave me a map on this part. Is gonna make it a little less confusing. Although, oh great. More places to hide. Is 
this just like a torch? Like a gas light? Yeah, I guess it's just a candle. All right, we're gonna read. Young Siachi Journal One. I have been fortunate enough to have accepted, uh, to be accepted as the son-in-law of the Miyama family. My father and brother have always looked down on me, considering me weak and spineless. However, the eyes of Lord Kayube, I am a loyal, trustworthy man. We have exchanged vows and eagerly await the joyful ceremony next spring. Ever since I laid eyes on Ayano's figure I had been I had been etched in my mind. It's a weird way to put it, man. Her skin, lightly glowing, and her sleek, shiny black hair. She often averts her gaze, but even in the shadows cast by her long eyelashes on her cheeks is beautiful. Again, very strange. But I guess that's how people talked in 1929. I wanted to get Ayano's attention by any means necessary necessarily necessary i'm just gonna pretend they said necessary so i decided to show her my collection of butterflies <laughs> do you like them i hope that the colorful butterflies would bring her joy hey i know said i've never seen such beautiful butterflies before but her expression was that of melancholy when i asked her if she disliked butterflies she replied i like butterflies however i don't like seeing them trapped and confined I just want to watch them fly in their natural state. Her words struck me to my core. That's right. Okay, we got a bathroom here. What do we got here? And yen? Oh yeah, exactly what we're looking for. Hide. Ah, she found me. No, go away. <laughs> no, good. Okay, so this is the well. We hide here. Let's go to inventory. How do I go to inventory? Tab. There we go. I will drink one of these. We're good now. Okay, we're sneaking, we're creeping, we're looking, we're leaning. Uh, let's check our map. So we're in the shrine room. This is the well area. So we came from in here to the well area. So there is a tatami room. I don't know what that means. Baths. Crowbar closet. Is it a closet for crowbars? Okay. Let's check out the shrine. Hit the right buttons. We're gonna close this. Screw the well. Anything else in here? Uh, out of reach. We need a way to like step up there. All right. Need to get a step stool. Ooh, we got some more lore for us. Never mind. Ten yen. We got some more lore for us. Letter from Yui 2. Yui 2, the sequel. Alright. 
It has been several months since Dad passed away. Not a day goes by without a box of tissues by my side. When I came to offer my condolences, I couldn't come to terms with Dad's death. I couldn't even speak with you. Mom, why didn't you tell me right away? Why uh, you didn't even invite our family to the funeral? If we hadn't reached out, you wouldn't have bothered to tell us at all. Dad was an important role model for me. I wanted to give him my final farewell. I was weak and always hid behind Dad. I was scared to talk to you, Mom. I feared you'd say, I hate you. But with Dad, but now that Dad is gone, I can't go on like this anymore. I need to speak with you in person, Mom. There's something I must ask you on September 21st. I will come alone by telling Aiji, uh, without telling Aiji or Minato, which is my character. I don't expect a response to this letter. I've written you many times before, Mom. You've never, ever replied. I've been waiting for a long time now. See you September 21st. Yours truly, Yui. Yep. That's right. Okay, this is the courtyard, I think. This is the hallway of the courtyard. Ooh, there's a door here. Nope. Stuck on the other side. Not this side, though. Uh, okay. There's a crowbar carved into the lock. Okay. Crowbar room means you need a crowbar to open it. So I can't reach up here. The ignition, uh, there's a shrine just out of reach. All right, well, let's turn off our lamp and uh, see where we can get to. Assuming she's out lurking by the well. Giant door with two locks, wooden keys. Okay. Let's go back to map. So. Baths. Uh, okay, so went to the tatami room, went to the closet. None of this is open. This is locked to this toilet. Courtyard, no way down. So I guess I gotta go down these stairs. Everything else is locked. In the well. Something floating in the murky water. Okay. Well, can't get to that. So let's, uh... See what's all the way down here. Up the stairs. Floor two. Floor two's, a uh, Something on the other side. Okay. Well, floor two looks like, uh... Uh, the screws have gone rusty on the door. Okay. Okay, Owen board. Open durable. Young Kino's Journal 1 August 19th, 1992 I was chatting with Saichi Waiting for my sister to get ready He gave me a pearl hairpin Saying I would match Saying I would match with my sister And her hairpin Okay I heard nothing Oh, I heard neither you nor Ayano Aya Had ever laid eyes on the sea He said 
I thought the two of you would appreciate something from there. Considering how close the two of you are, I would be delighted if you would wear them together. Weird mood, but have at it, I guess. As he handed me the hairpin, my face instantly flushed. I was wondering if he could hear my heart racing uh, and if my excitement was too obvious. I had to hide my face. It was the first time a man other than my father had given me a gift. A gift. Unlike my stern father, his voice was gentle and soft. Okay, I'll have to do a different voice. I wished to have that voice by my side forever. And then he whispered into my ear. Isn't Ayano like a butterfly? With that, the blush from my cheeks uh, was extinguished. The pounding of my chest subsided, as if my very pulse had stopped. He tenderly caressed the other hairpin intended for my sister and creepily said, reminding me uh, whom his heart belonged to. Indeed, my sister Ayano is like a butterfly. She loves being carried away by the wind and drenched by the rain. Touching her delicate wings would only result in pain. Ayano was beautiful, delicate, and fragile. I could crush her with my bare hands. For now, I am still the only one who can be with her. I am the only one who can place my hands upon that slender white neck. I am the only one. God damn. Well, young Kino, that's uh, quite the tale you tell. Oh, this is a hiding spot. Nice. Okay. Very good. Let's, uh... Ooh. We got some nails on the boards. Got some, uh... Lovely little juice. Okay. It's us moving still. Okay. So we can't... Can't flint and steal it. I mean, we can't spark the entire house up. I think is the point there. Through the door we go. What do we got here? Ten yen. Just what we were looking for. We got some... Oop. Okay. Butterfly. Okay, we go back downstairs. Very good. Oh, not good. What do we got here? There's something in the pan. It's stuck in solid grease. I can't get it out. Can't start a fire without firewood. Oh, my God. Put some fire will melt this grease away. I bet so too. But where do we get the wood? Oh, there she is. Okay, so I don't want to go that way. I want to go out this way, I guess? Okay. Oh my god. Let's see, uh, where's my map at? Okay, so this is, can't get in there, can't get in there. She's standing in there. So I gotta go up to the closet servant room, I think. Maybe the kitchen has some stuff. She's right in there. Don't really want to deal with that right now. Especially because there's no place to hide down here. Just right over there. Ooh, here we go. Get some 10 yens. Another one. How do I do this one? Oh, it's supposed to go goal. Ah, I see. That spins out. Hey, 
Interesting. By interesting, I mean brutal. Yep. Oh. Nailed it. Nailed it, 100%. Well, we've made some progress. We had some spooky times. We're in the new mansion, and, uh, well, that was a bunch of lore dumps. So I'm going to call it for there right now. Thanks for watching. Well, see you next Wednesday for some more um, uh, Hollow Cocoon. Catch you the next one. Bye for now.